then holy prophet sallallahu gave an idea of equality of sex he fought against discrimination of sex he provided equality for men and women he protected rights of women and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi he said no domestic violence is allowed and no forced marriages are allowed this is islam the culture of islam the polity of islam islam does not allow any husband to beat his wife this is totally un islamic holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself sayyida aisha says ma daraba rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam imratan lahu wala khadiman qattu holy prophet never ever bet any of his wives or servants he always respected his wives and respected his servants and it is stated by holy prophet reported in sunan abi daud kitab an nikah he was asked ma taqulu fi nisaina ya rasulullah hadith number 2144 sunan abi daud what do you say what is your commandment regarding our women regarding the ladies holy prophet was asked holy prophet said atimuhum mimma taakulun waksuhum mimma taktasun wala tadribu hunna wala tukabbihu hunna he said they should be provided same domestic rights as you are enjoying and nobody is allowed to beat them and nobody is allowed to disgrace any woman so disgracing the woman is totally banned by islam and prophet of islam you can't disgrace them they deserve equal grace they deserve equal respect they deserve equal honor they deserve equality in your domestic life spiritual life economic life in your social life this is islam o muslims of the world stand up remove these allegations from your life and prove that you are the most progressive nation of the world and prove establish the fact that you are the those who are the founders of the rights of women who are the founders of equality of women who are the founders of this concept giving protecting the honor of the women in the same way no forced marriage is allowed in islam this is the right of women let her choose her partner her parents has no right to enforce her the marriage against her will and consent no forced marriage in islam what we do the muslims particularly those who belong to pakistan and india and bangladesh they always want to bring their nephews and nieces to provide them visa and citizenship and they enforce marriages against will of their children this is totally against islam and sunnah of the prophet <laughs> no forced marriage for the sake of bhatija bhanja bhanji bhanja no forced marriage for the sake of nephew and niece for the sake of visa and citizen of your family in the name of god follow prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and not follow your bad intentions it is reported by imam muslim abu daud tirmizi nasai ibn majah five books of sahih sita reported by khansa bin khidam she said inna abaha zawajaha wa hiya sayyib her father forcefully married her fatat rasul allah after forced marriage performed by her father she came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to what did holy prophet do faradda nikaha holy prophet repudiated that marriage he cancelled the marriage said this is right of the girl not of the father this was she was divorcee now comes the virgin ibn abbas reports in najariyatan bikran a girl came to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
فَذَاكَرَتْ لَهُ أَنَّ أَبَاهَا زَوَّجَهَا وَيَّ كَارِهَتُ She stated, My father has forced me to marry somebody and I don't like it. So what should I do? Holy Prophet said, فَخَيَّرَهَا النَّبِيُّ صلى الله عليه وسلم She said, This is your right whether you keep it or reject it. Your father cannot force you for life. And another hadith, a lady came to Holy Prophet and she said, Ya Rasulullah, my father is forcing me to marry his nephew. The same Mirpur problem. <laughs> the whole Mirpur problem. The whole Pakistani problem. The whole India problem. And the whole Bangladesh problem. It is being addressed by Holy Prophet. She came, she said, my father is forcing me to marry his nephew. And they are rich people. And he wants, my father wants to get money from them. He himself wants to remove his poverty through my marriage. He is giving me to them and wants to get health or wealth from them. So Holy Prophet, فَجَعَلَ الْأَمْرَ إِلَيْهَا She said, you have the authority. You can repudiate and reject it. Your father has no authority on enforcement of marriage on you. Then, listen to her, listen to her. Listen to her. فَقَالَتْ قَدْ أَجَسْتُ مَا سَانَ عَبِي When Holy Prophet declares this, she said, Now I agree with my father's decision. أَرَدْتُ أَنْ أُعَلِّمَ النِّسَاءَ أَنَّ لَيْسَ إِلَى الْعَبَاءِ مِنَ الْأَمْرِ شَيْءٍ I just came to you to make it clear so that the women may be able to know their rights, that their parents have no right to enforce marriage against their will. I wanted you to declare our right. Now I will do according to my father. So don't bring wrong name. This is matter of your culture. Matter of your family custom, tradition, it has nothing to do with Islam. And we are, through our actions, we are bringing bad name to Muslim society. And very interesting thing, it may be shocking for you. Take this as a gift of tonight. Take this thing as a gift. The main reason of forced marriages, main cause of forced marriages, is the cousin marriage. Parents sometimes want, as I said, that their girls and their boys should marry their cousins to bring their nephews and nieces. Main problem is cousin marriage. They don't want to go out of their family. Listen to me. Give me your ears attentively. I'm going to utter a specific sentence given by Holy Prophet ﷺ on cousin marriages. I'm going to narrate a hadith on the subject of cousin marriages. Holy Prophet discouraged cousin marriages as a general matter of principle. It has been discouraged. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Holy Prophet said, La tankihu al-qarabat al-qariba fa inna al-walada yukhlaku daviyan Don't marry in your close and direct blood relations. If you do your cousin marriages, blood relations, your children will be born with incurable disease. Your children will be born with incurable disease. This is not a legal prohibition. Not manashari. It is discouraged on medical reasons. And same thing was said by Sayyidina Umar. Sayyidina Umar said, Li'ali sahib, قال أدفعتم فأنكه في النبابق يعني تزبجوا الغرائب. He said to a people, a family, I see most of your children who are born, they are sick, having incurable disease. Holy Sayyidina Farooq said, if you want that your children are born healthy, then marry your children in other families, not in your cousins and your blood families. This hadith is reported by 
امام ابن الاسیر ان النہایہ امام اسقلانی ان تلخیص الحبیر امام غزالی احیاء علوم الدین ان العراقی ان طبقات الشافیہ القبرہ ان ریپورٹڈ بائی کنز الامال ان اگین ریپورٹڈ بائی سیدنا امام شافعی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ امام شافعی آلسو سیز ایوما اہل بیتن لم تخرج نساؤہم الى رجال غیرہم کان فی اولادہم حمکن حمکن those people who just marry within cousins and blood relations and don't move to other families for marrying and weddings most of their children are sick with incurable diseases you see the science has established this reality today after 15 centuries science has established after thousands of experiences that with direct blood relations and cousin marriages there are incurable disease which come out the reality which is exposed to science now in present decade look at the miracle of prophet Muhammad he is telling the same reality 1500 years before